Okay, so All right, so let's uh, discuss this a uh, little bit. Do you want to watch a little more or did you get any additional insights on what uh, these analysts are saying? Maybe one or, yeah, Chris. Well, no, it, it sounds like they agreed on the second clip that kind of cut out. He goes, it's hard to even explain how this feels in your hands. And the first guy was talking about how it's just much more comfortable to hold the actual device as far as design goes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any, any additional insights you got, Pralin? That, that was not a foolproof video, so. You yeah. also raised a point about threats against the tablet of iMac. Yes. Apple, and there are competitors there. Mm -hmm. Apple. Yes. And they should put this in mind whether they release newer versions and how much is sustained there. Yes. But uh, did it touch upon the fact that it's kind of a new design or a dominant design? Did they talk anything like that? Probably not. Yes. Well, I did a little bit when you were saying that it was sort of the end of the PC era, the beginning of the Apple tablet era, so in a sense he did. Right. You did, did talk about the technology cycle ending with the PCs and beginning with the tablets, a new technology cycle. We unfortunately did not see the whole video, but it does get into the fact that it's cutting into the PC market because People have a choice now whether to buy a laptop or a tablet. So in that sense, it's a new technology cycle, which is actually disrupting the, between the PC and the laptop market. And in that sense, it vindicates the framework that we were discussing. Any additional thoughts on iPad versus Samsung? Also, they move to the social media. Or discuss that a little bit. For starters, I was going to say um, they've kind of woken up Microsoft, and now Microsoft's coming up with their own tablet, and uh, that's the first time ever they're going to merge their hardware and software together. And then obviously they're going to be able to license it out to third party manufacturers as well. So coming up with Windows 8 in the fall, you know, you're going to see a, a big push from Microsoft to compete with iPad and also to, to gain a lot of market share uh, into the enterprise world where people are still a little bit leery to use uh, unsecured Apple devices. I know we discussed uh, Android. That's more like a platform play. Android vis a -vis iOS. It's a, 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 a similar strategy which Google uh, caught on to. Uh, we have iOS, we have Android, which is pretty much Java, and uh, we have iOS on iPhone, we have iOS on iOS means i operating system. Um, everything Mac is, uh, it, it starts with the i, right? iTunes and iOS. So iOS vis-a-vis -vis Android is one story. On the other hand, Amazon Kindle broke new ground with uh, disrupting its own Kindle by having the Kindle file. And you used to like uh, the original Kindle, which is a great product. It actually uses CA ink and you can sit and read outside. But what Kindle Fire does is it uh, brings out the pictures and if I wanted to publish say strategy technology analysis, I could actually put uh, a video in color 
inside a book and uh, that you could not read with the Kindle. It has severe limitations the way the media publishing is going, right? So any thoughts on how the Amazon Kindle or the Kindle Fire fits into the picture of this new technology cycle? Uh, I would say that, that uh, Amazon already has an ecosystem in building I mean, their own infrastructure and they manage it. Instead of managing or, or, or satisfying developers, which would be in the case, for example, of Apple with their own platform, they are satisfying writers and I mean, people who like to contribute this content. I mean, they just, I mean, anybody can create books right now and just write a book and put it in Amazon's platform and start selling the next day. And, 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 and so they, they are, this is what they, they normally are, are, are creating like a, a, a platform for writers and people who like to create content and be able to sell it I mean, online. So it's not just address to developers, but address to different kind of, of, of uh, uh, business. And, and that in the fire, like, in a way, and it helps them I mean, distribute the content. You the mentioned, that's, that's good. You mentioned that they are selling it for a loss. In the yeah. sense, it's a loss leader. Mm -hmm. Why would uh, a company like Amazon do it uh, as a loss leading strategy when they have a lot of uh, business going, they are making money, selling books, selling everything, shoes. You gain market share and make the money on the front yeah. Why do they want to move in here when they can compete with eBay and sell, just be, a, be happy where their core competency is, which is uh, selling on the internet? Why do they want to like compete against the uh, iPad? Maybe try to diversify their, their products offering and also look for secondary revenue streams, so they may offer the hardware at a discounted price or at a loss, but, but then have a plan to add. Are they trying to gain, gain some of the market share which is being created by the iPad? Yeah. Yes, Sam. Well, I suspect they're also trying to defend what they have, because it wouldn't take a, you could see the scenario where, where iPad, the, the iTunes, whatever you call that thing, could actually eclipse a lot of what Amazon does with the book sales and whatnot. Um, so in, in a sense, they might just be trying to defend their own uh, present market. OK, then that's, that's, a, that's a fair assumption. It could so happen that uh, the self-publishing and everything would move to the iTunes. I could write my next book and Probably I could publish it as easily in iTunes as I can do today. If I wrote an e-book, actually I published an e-book on Blackboard, I can do it on Kindle, but it makes it very easy to publish it on Kindle and sell it today. But come tomorrow, things might change. You might want a video and you might, I mean, I'm recording that. I'm not going to put that in, the, in my book, but uh, the saying that that, that, that's a good point. That, that's where the media market is moving. So they are trying to defend. So do you agree with that? Or? I think the defense uh, point is, is very valid. You know, I think they've, they've had a very good established market with Kindle already, and they don't want that to just go up the window. Right, right. How, how big is the Kindle market? Yeah. How many stores in uh, uh, Boston, how many border stores have closed down in Boston? Probably. <laughs> is that right? There's no borders left in the country, is there? <laughs> well, probably not. I haven't checked. I mean, they're probably like, is, is it all closed now? I think they filed. I think they're done. Oh, okay. So that, that's good. So that, that means uh, what's happening with uh, book selling and book buying. In fact, the chair that uh, we have here in the strategy department he is publishing a series of articles in a book on, on where the media is going in terms of book, print. It's all moving to the electronic, to the internet, and to Amazon, and to iTunes. So it's a disruptive force that uh, iPad has created in the publishing business. And Amazon Kindle has to catch up. They have no option. And they have, is Amazon a hardware company? Yes, well, it was a, it, it had one hardware product, let's give it some credit, let's give Jeff Bezos some credit. They did a really awesome job with the Kindle, but uh, 
It hasn't been there for a while. It has been there for like maybe five years, max, the king. And uh, what has happened is uh, iPad has come and it's disrupting the whole thing. So they have to like defend. And uh, they also want to probably gain market so they're trying the idea of a smaller screen size. So what's going on with uh, Kindle Fire 2? rumors from Digitimes, as you mentioned last week, said that the new Kindle Fires were on their way with higher resolution screens. The big change, according to this, is silent on what the new processors will be, and there's been no... It's, a, it's an old video, actually. It's not going to give us anything. Except some couple of people having fun on TV. <laughs>